Survivor Chapter 41 Before it's too late, before we get too close to my plane crash, I need to explain about my name. Tender Branson. It's not really a name, it's more of a rank. It's the same as somebody in another culture naming a child Lieutenant Smith or Bishop Jones or Governor Brown or Dr. Moore, Sheriff Peterson. The only names in Cretish culture was family names. The family name came from the husband. The family name was the way to claim property. The family name was a label. My name is my family name is Branson. My rank is Tender Branson. It's the lowest rank. The caseworker asked one time if the family name wasn't a kind of endorsement of a cur or a curse when sons and daughters were contracted for work in the outside world. Since the suicides, people in the outside world have the same lurid picture of a Cretish culture that my brother Adam had of them. In the outside world, my brother told me people were as reckless as animals and fornicated with strangers on the street. <laughs> wow. These days, people in the outside world will ask me if certain family names brought higher prices. Did some family names bring lower labor contract prices? These people usually go on to ask if some Cretish fathers would impregnate their daughters to increase cash flow. They'll ask if the Cretish children who weren't allowed to marry were castrated, meaning was I. They'll ask if Cretish sons masturbated or went with farm animals or sodomized each other, meaning do I. Did I. Was I. Stranger will ask me to face to my face if I'm a virgin. I don't know, I forget, or the entire issue is none of your business. For the record, my brother Adam Branson was my older brother for three minutes and thirty seconds, but my Cretish but by Cretish standards it could have been years. Since Cretish doctrine didn't recognize a second place finisher. In every family the firstborn son was named Adam, and it was Adam Branson who would inherit our land in the church district colony. All sons after Adam were named Tender. In the Branson family that makes me one of at least eight Tender Bransons my fam my, my parents released to be labor missionaries. All daughters the first through the last were named Biddy. Oh, I like that name, Biddy. I could maybe name a gerbil or a hamster that. You know what I mean? Maybe Biddy. Hey, look a little Biddy. A little fur on little Biddy. Tenders are workers who tend. Biddies, do your bidding. Oh, well, that's not. I'm not going to make a hamster do my bidding. It's good. It's a good guess that both words are slang nicknames for longer traditional names, but I don't know what. I know that if the church elders chose a Biddy Branson to marry the Adam of another family, her first name, really her rank, changed to Arthur. When she married Adam Maxton, Biddy Branson would become Arthur Maxton. The parents of that Adam Maxton were also called Adam and Arthur Maxton, until their just married son and his wife had a child. After that, you address both members of the older couple as Elder Maxton. M most couples, by the time her firstborn son had her his first child, the female Elder Maxon, would be dead from having a child after child after child. Almost all the children, church elders were men. A man would become a church elder by the time he was 35 if he was quick enough. It wasn't complicated. It was nothing compared to the outside world and its ranking system of parents and grandparents and great-grandparents, aunts and uncles and nieces and nephews, all of them with their own first names. In Cretish culture, your name told everybody just where you belonged. Tender or Biddy, Adam or Arthur or Elder, your name told you how your life would go. People ask if I'm ever mad that I lost the right to my own property and raise a family just because my brother had three and a half minutes ahead of me, and I've learned to tell them yes. That's what people in the outside world want to hear. But it's not true. I've never been mad. This world would be the same as getting this would be the same as getting angry over the idea that if you had been born with longer fingers you might be a concert violinist. It's the same as wishing that your parents had been taller, thinner, stronger, happy. These are details in the past you have no control over. The truth is Adam was born first, and maybe Adam envied me because I would get to go out and see the outside world. While I was packing to leave, Adam was getting married to a Biddy Gleason he'd hardly met. It was the body of church elders who kept elaborate charts of who'd married which Biddy from which family so that, that the people in the outside world called cousins never married. Every generation as the Adams started turning 17, the church elders met to assign them wives as far from their family history as possible. Every generation there was a season of marriages. There was almost 40 families in the church district colony and every generation almost every family would have at home weddings and, at, and parties. For a tender or a biddy, a wedding season was something you'd watch only from around the edges. If you were a biddy, it was something you might dream of happening to you. If you were tender, you didn't dream.